Okay, welcome back. Today we are looking inside a fish. We're going to learn about some of the structures that you'll see on the internal virtual fish dissection diagram. It's due Wednesday, and we're going to learn some information that you need to know that you'll review and get deeper on when you read about fish in CK12 and that you'll practice when you take the fish quiz on CK12. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing Thursday and Friday of this week. Let's go inside a fish. So fish have the same goals as other animals. Goals like obtaining oxygen for their metabolism, which has to get to all the cells in their body, maintaining homeostasis, which means keeping conditions inside their body stable no matter what's going on around them, and responding to their environment. Those are not all the goals, but those are some. Let's take a look at obtaining oxygen for their metabolism. Fish are going to be inhaling and exhaling water and getting that oxygen through gills instead of inhaling and exhaling air and getting that oxygen through the lungs as we do. But it's a pretty similar process. Okay? Gills are used to get oxygen from the water and to release carbon dioxide, similar to breathing in land vertebrates. Oxygen comes in, dissolved in the water, comes in the mouth, and goes into the gills inside the fish. In the gills, that oxygen-rich water lets oxygen pass through the gills into the blood in the blood vessels, and that lets lots of oxygen into the blood. So now there's oxygen in the blood, which is what we wanted. There's also carbon dioxide in there that they need to get rid of. So as they exhale, they're pushing water out from the gills through the gill cover. And that water will take the extra carbon dioxide and take it out back into the surrounding water. Okay, Once that oxygen is in the blood in the gills, it has to get to all the cells in the body. So similar to um, what we use, a heart to pump the blood around our body, um, fish use a two-chambered heart. Okay, Human heart has four chambers. The chamber in a fish are only two. So that two-chambered heart takes the pumps and then the blood with the oxygen is going to go around the body, deliver oxygen to all the cells that need it, take up carbon dioxide, and then when it's back at the gills, it'll let that carbon dioxide go. Homeostasis is another very important goal, keeping stable conditions in the body. Animals have to keep their body within a certain temperature range to be healthy as well as a certain pH, not too acidic, not too basic, as well as a lot of other conditions that are all part of homeostasis. So this is just one part of the big picture of homeostasis. Now, there are different strategies that animals can use for that. Ectothermic animals use their surroundings to maintain an acceptable body temperature. So they will stay in locations where the water or the air, or the sunlight, or the rocks, thing, whatever's around them, helps keep their body temperature where it needs to be. Endothermic animals like us act a little differently. They use their body's metabolism. So they burn energy to maintain an acceptable body temperature. So like humans, for example, spend most of our time in environments where it's not 98 degrees around us, right? Uh, but we burn energy to keep our body inside at that appropriate temperature even though it's different than our outside surroundings. Now, fish are mostly ectothermic. So almost all fish are ectothermic. They're going to use their surroundings to maintain an acceptable body temperature. So fish that are able to handle colder body temperatures may be able to live deeper in the ocean where it's colder, uh, but a lot of fish will be in the warm, sunny, protected surface waters to maintain their body temperature. <laughs> And one more thing we want to look at is how fish respond to their environment. So we said in the last video that fish have many senses to detect the world around them. Well, once you kind of know what's happening around you, you won't be able to react to that. And moving is something that fish do a lot of. So there's two ways in which they may need to move. To propel forward and steer around. So moving forward and back, left and right, um, and just you know, moving forward, swimming in the water, they're going to use their fins, as we discussed in the last video, to move up or down in the water, or to just stay at the same depth and prevent from just slowly sinking uh, with their own body weight. Fish are going to use what's called a swim bladder. 
This is a bladder or like a kind of pouch organ inside their body. It's full of gas. It keeps the fish from sinking. Adding more gas to the bladder will move a fish up toward the surface. Think of if you were hugging a giant balloon, a really big balloon, it might be pulling you up to the surface of the water, right? Letting out gas from the bladder, shriveling up that balloon is going to let the fish move down lower. Okay? And just keeping it at a constant level will keep the fish still in its place. All right. I am going to show you how to do a read and quiz assignment in CK12. So I broke down, instead of having reading and practice questions where it pops up random questions to each student, I separated that out. You're just going to read to read, and then you're going to do the quiz questions that I assigned. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Here I am in CK12. If you click on the link for your class, I'm using a period one student as an example. If you click on the link in your class, it will take you right to this assignment page. If you just go to ck12.org, you'll need to click on classes, then click on the title of your class, then click on assignments to get here. Um, I gave you the direct link to your assignments page because that's often easier. And just so you know, assignments that you finished hang out over here in completed assignments. So if you don't see an assignment you're supposed to do, just check and make sure you haven't done it already. All right, there's a bunch of extra credit in here from the third marking period. That ends Friday, by the way. Um, so after Friday, I will do one last check of who's completed anything. You're welcome to do it if you have some extra time this week. Um, but after that, those will go away and those are not required. They're just extra credit. These are the assignments for this week, fish quiz and read about fish. You obviously want to read before you take the quiz. So I'm going to click read about fish. Read this. Click turn in when you're done and move on to the fish quiz. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to open it up. So you're going to read through the assigned reading and talk to you about scales like I discussed in our first video. Tells you a little bit about the evolution of fish, the ranges of sizes they can have. We're going to start ectothermic. We talked about that. Gills and how the gills work. Their body shape, their different fins, muscles, swim bladder. Okay. You see a lot of the same features that you label on the outside diagram of your fish. Some organ systems. Um, pick one of these videos to look at. There's two little videos here. You just pick one. There's no questions about them. They're just interesting. Um, so I'd say choose either one that looks more interesting to you, the oar fish, uh, which is very alien and interesting looking, and the manta, which just capture a lot of people's imagination with the gentle way that they glide through the ocean. When I've read everything I need to read, I'm going to scroll up to the top. I know it's strange with the buttons at the top, but that's where it is. I'm going to click turn in. I'm done. That's why this is just one point for the reading, okay? I expect you to come in here, 
spend about 15 minutes, read through it, watch at least one of those two videos, and click turn in. All right, and that's it, the assignment's complete. Now I'm gonna go back to my assignment page. Okay, here's my class. You can also go back and use the link in Schoology again um, to take you directly to that page of assignments. So now that I finished the first assignment about reading, it's gonna be hiding over in completed assignments. And then I still need to do fish quiz is right here. All right, let's click. And the quiz is gonna be more old fashioned. It's going to have 10 questions, okay? You can do it though as many times as you need and you can take as long as you want when you do it. Click start and just click turn in when you get to the end, okay? All right, if you need anything at all, please let me know. Feel free to join me in the group sessions or in uh, drop in on my office hours anytime, any day, 12.15 to 1.15, 8 to 9 at night. Okay, have a great day. Take care.